Hi there, so today we're gonna to have a look at how we desaturate a piece of footage, but then also how we add a tint to a piece of footage as well. So um, this is a good way of getting like a sepia tint or something like that onto your footage if you want a certain look or feel um, for your, your video edit. So the first thing we'll do is having a look at um, desaturating our footage. So we're gonna bring up, first of all, our inspector, okay? And we're gonna jump straight into uh, the color correction options here, okay? So I'm gonna pull up our color correction and you can see in our inspector under color adjustment options here we have our saturation okay so these are four options for adju adjusting the saturation um, one is the overall saturation of our clip okay one is the saturation of the the highlights across here on the right okay so you can see it's desaturating the, the background and the sky there but keeping the the color in the foreground where it's darker and mid-tones Okay, and then we have the mid-tones and the blacks that we can saturate as well. Okay, so we've got a few different options there for saturating or desaturating our footage. Okay, if we have made some changes here, we want to send them back to their original settings, then we can click this little hooked arrow on the top right and that will reset our settings. So just to illustrate that a bit more clearly. So if we click this, then our settings jump back to the original settings there. We also have some presets for our color adjustments here as well, um, which appear when you're in the color saturation or exposure options. And you can see here, if we click on these, then we get some pretty fun, uh, different kind of color adjustments where we're pushing the saturation, but also adjusting the, the color and exposure as well to get a particular look or feel on a piece of footage. Okay, let's jump these back to the original settings. And now we're going to have a look at how to add a tint to a piece of footage. Now we're not going to do that in the color adjustments. We're going to use an effect to do that. So we'll bring up our effects browser and we're going to, in all video effects, just type in tint in the search. Search is a great way of uh, finding effects. It's often hard to kind of run through all the different options that you have there. And you can see that now um, we've got a default tint of blue here. If we drag that across to our clip on the timeline, you can see we've got the option to adjust our tint a certain amount here and then also to change the color okay so we can change the the tint of our color here uh, we don't have any skin tones in this shot but this option will still protect tones that um, are like skin tones so you can see here as i'm increasing this it's identifying these areas of wood as skin tones but you can also if you're adding a tint to a piece of footage try and protect the the skin tones in a certain piece of footage so we'll leave this and a kind of sepia tone sort of look. Okay, that kind of old school look. So I hope that's been useful. In this tutorial, we've covered a couple of ways of adjusting color, one to desaturate color, one um, adding a tint or a, a little bit of tint to a, a piece of footage. And they're both really useful tools when you're editing footage and trying to get certain results out of your footage. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro or other software such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe InDesign, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.